Welcome, everyone, to The Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 2 and 2, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. All right, so today I'm off looking like a wide-eyed scientist and wearing white and weird. It's cool. Went to the comic shops. Well, I went to the comic shop, Jim, Jim, Jim Hanley's University, HU Comics. So the other day, me and Scott did an Everything Show, and the news, sometimes at night, news breaks. Yeah. Out. Just hit. Right? Yeah. Reading it as it hit. Basically. Right? Wasn't aware of it. Didn't have time to really, you know, want to get, get it out there. Any, uh, right. Me and Scott are having fun. This is not like a job. This is not like, you know, punch clock thing. We're talking about stuff that interests us. Spider-Man is a big interest of mine. They, like did get a new, they did get a Gwen, uh, Gwen. They did get a uh, MJ for the movie. So, so like, there was this story that came out that in Mexico, mm -hmm. um, the Mexican people did not approve in the seventies. In the seventies, the idea that Gwen Stacy died. She, they, they're big fans. And they made a big stink. And in the comic, they didn't do that. They continued that Peter Parker married Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy, yeah. For 45 issues. <clears throat> 45 issues. Now, 45. keep in mind, in this day and age right now, there are weekly comics, bi-weekly comics. That could be no time. But yeah. back then. It's a month. 12 issues a year. Yep. So this went on for years. Years that he was married to Gwen Stacy. Now, Marvel allowed it, but they never promoted it. They didn't make, think anything of it. They didn't make a big stink about it. The guy was a great artist. Yeah. Okay. There's with stories in there. Um, and after 45 issues, I guess that was done, but was never talked about because, you know, who here lives in Mexico? You know what I'm yeah, saying? And now in this day and age, you know, everybody's everywhere. People go to Mexico. Oh, what's this? Somebody they picked up a comic book and thought it would be interesting to read. And what? And I, I just want to share, screen share this because this has, the story has expanded as we knew it would. Now, this is coming from Dan Slott's thing. These are the covers for the freaking thing. Okay. Um, this was ooh pretty, yeah. That yeah. the the low, very the very lower left one that was the one which I saw, uh, on Facebook or Twitter the other day. So this is not fake, okay? No, it's and, not. And, fake. And, and again, it's not a hallucination. Nope. All right. It's not a Look, Mandela effect. I'm, I'm a Spider Man fan. I'm a huge Spider Man fan. Okay. Yeah. I understand that there are multiverses. I had, like there's multiverse with as many different realities for Spider-Man. I guess Gwen Stacy's Ghost Spider universe is 65. There's different universes, okay? For Marvel. Marvel's main universe is 616, okay? I doubt that then they said that was in the comic yeah. said it was 616. Yeah, they did they didn't come up with the whole multiple. They just, right. So I mean they they did have stuff in there but I I I doubt they said hey this is a different universe. No. Yeah. What's the big deal that this happened? Big deal. Not no big deal. It's 2019. This happened in the 70s. What's the big, why is people, why are people upset about Now, here's the thing, like, lately. And it didn't even happen here. To lately, we have, here's the thing. I always said, here's some drinking soda with a straw because my teeth are bothering me and I have to do it that way. All right, nice explanation. Anyway, lately, when we do kiss, we, people are getting very critical of what we say. I don't have a script. I don't have a thing. I, I pick and choose what I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Either I'll grab Scott will always here, and then I'll grab Chris or grab Danette or you know whoever, anybody. They'll come in. We'll talk about stuff. But, like, we don't have, like, a script. We don't, like, this is not a job. We have fun. 
Yeah. We crack we come and in, we do it, and then we go. Right. Me yeah. and him are having fun oh. on a freaking Saturday night or a Friday night cracking jokes. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this shit, Scott. Right? What research? Like, are you talking about? Like, this is not a, you know, we're not research incorporated. We're taking things that we found out. Right. And people are like, like, you need to do your, re- no, I don't need to do shit. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Listen, listen, not for nothing. It's hysterical for me, right? And I, please don't be butthurt, people. Don't take offense. Just laugh with me because you know you sound ridiculous sometimes, you people, right? Yeah. And I love my fans and I love people. Sometimes people get carried away in this day and age. You need to do your research. I don't need to do shit. Like, okay, <laughs> I just read the article. Just like, you're hearing about it. I'm not going to Mexico. Who the fuck cares? And right? if we do, what do you expect them to do? Go back to the 70s and find all these right, issues? Well, I don't need to do shit. I, if I don't even want to read the article again, it's in Mexico. It's not here. Not part of my continuity. I, I mean, not my, my collection. You know, if I get an itch and I want to buy it from Mexico, okay. Yeah. Then we fucking talk about it. But no, I don't need to do shit. I don't need to research shit. But I do research stuff when we, we talk about things. Yeah, yeah. But I am not going to hold a story so that way it matures and builds up. And we're, we're going to talk yeah. about stuff when stuff breaks. So Dan Slot's been. You know, he, was, he wrote more Spider-Man comics than anybody. He's been tweeting about it. And he's been like, I got to see if this is true. And it is true. So, you know, and then the thing that bothers me is people are like calling it hallucinations. People calling this because they're upset that it exists. Like, it don't worry your little head off, okay? It's not canon to us. No, it's not. So what? If it exists as another universe, what if, you know what? And now that it's out there, don't be too surprised. That the way Marvel stuff lately. Go, you know, this is part of the continuity. Not just 617. Don't be too surprised if Marvel or, don't just make yeah, the universe out. This is 615. Listen, if you could have a universe where Spider Man's a zombie or Spider Man's an ape or Spider Man is like, you know, not a hero at all when just whatever or a Punisher, you could do anything, okay? He, this universe where he's married to Black Hat, universe where he's married to Major, universe. I mean, come on, this is all over yeah. the place. This universe where Mary Jane died of radiation poisons because they had intercourse. That's insane. So I mean, like, like, please don't. And, and I want to show this art because this is not fake. This is real artist stuff. I mean, roll this, back, people. Just because like, that, it that's incredible, man. Like, that's come on, that's great. That looks great. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, you know, there's other artists other than the ones we know. You know, you not you don't get uh, offended. You know, I mean, again, and and, and it has not. And, and please don't label people. This is what I, this will bothers me. Because you like the idea, oh, that happened. You don't need to be put into a category like Gwen fans or Mary Jane fan. Like, just, a, yeah. how about a, just an effing Spider-Man fan. How about that? And you know what? If I'm a Gwen Stacy fan, who the fuck cares? I'm a Mary Jane fan, too. I'm a, I'm a big Black Hat fan. What's the big difference? So, you know, I, I don't care. Like, you cannot – you can't, the thing Roll is people want to explain books. people. Yeah, people want to explain why you like this, why you don't. Why you want to not build a wall, why you do. Like, oh, you have a birth defect. That's why you vote this way. It's not that simple, okay? Nothing is wrong with you or anybody, okay? So, like, don't get upset where, where, where but, you're... But, Joe, you you doesn't, it doesn't placate to my feelings. I mean, oh, yo. Yeah. Does this offend you? Does it really offend you? I need you to believe that my feelings are more important than yours. First of all, what's wrong with this? Yeah, I I love the I loved Gwen Stacy. Yeah. She was hot. She was a great, she was smart. She was a good girlfriend for him. She died. I was upset when it happened, okay? I mean, and again, I was young and I, I saw it afterwards after I can, you know, comprehend. But I mean, like, come on. Nobody should be upset about that. Yeah. Come on. It, you, you can't control. Look, it, it's an, just think of it as another universe. What's the big deal? 
You know, don't call things hallucinations and stupid shit. That's just a disrespect to like the artist. Wake up tomorrow and find out that this never even happened. Then we'll have a complaint. And and from what we're getting at, there was there was other like places like that did their own Spider-Man comic that Marvel allowed too, which was weird. But like nobody talked about that. Now they are though. Now let's talk about the Indo- Indonesia Spider-Man comics. It's like boom. Okay, that's weird, but hey, it exists. Ooh, cool. You know what I'm saying? It exists. So now, but you have to understand, back then, right? It was the 70s, folks. People didn't have money to try. All right, only the people that were rich were traveling all over the world. Nobody freaking was able to go here and there and there. Oh, look, I brought a Spider-Man comic back. People didn't have money like that now. Now you can. Now there's things even cheaper Mm -hmm. to travel, you know? So and and the thing is, like you know, that's what they're finding that there's, it's it, they had comics of not just Spider Man. It's to me, it's kind of cool that you go out and you find. Oh, I didn't know they did this sort of. This is uh, from Dan on Twitter, by it, the way. It is it, like a lost art in a way. Yeah, I mean, this is freaking awesome. I mean, it's weird how he drew. Yeah, you know, I guess the guy with like the women eyes thing and different things. But like you know, that's amazing. That stuff. Yeah. They had their own interpretation of it, their own thing. Look at look at Japan. Didn't they have – he had a Transformer? Yeah, like, they did. Yeah. So what's the big deal, though? What's and he's the big part of the Marvel – he's part of the Marvel continuity, too, they're saying. So. so – and he said – Dan Slott said possible alternate Mexican comic continuity. So what? who cares what you call it? It's another reality, like big deal. Like, I mean, it's not connected to you know the the main Marvel universe. So, I, like here, this, and I'm gonna show you something. Here we go. This is the mentality. All right, this is how I look at it. Ooh, cool. Uh, think about this, folks. How many of you out there watch soap operas? All right. right. You have. Let's say you're young and you're restless. You have your days of your lives. If you think about it, they use the same plot lines. So basically, if you miss yours, you could watch another one to catch up. But nonetheless, think of it as that, that this is a soap opera. You got your main one that you watch, and you have the one that you don't watch. Granted, they both follow similar plot lines. But pull your thumb and your head out of your ass and stop becoming a shit disturber, which is what you're trying to be there. Boom. Just go out. Like, I joke around with you. Like, go Live out. your life. Go out. Go out of the house. Just yeah. Just don't get excited over these things. And I'm not trying to put anybody down, but there's no reason for this. And and, and this too. Here's a guy, La Prenza, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, Jose Luis Duran, right? He wrote and penciled the series, right? Uh, and I guess the company was La Prenza, feared their spidey relationship, readership, would fall after Gwen Stacy's death. So they created the first alternate universe, original issues where she lives and marries Peter. Sadly, they have not been translated or reprinted. So they created the universe, alternate universe, probably the first alternate universe. Alternate. We don't know if it's alternate, first alternate universe, because I've seen when it came out, but it's the first alternate universe. So you know what? Good on you, man. Yeah. You created the first alternate timeline for Marvel, which is not really Marvel, whatever. Good for you, bro. Nothing wrong with it. Really isn't. I mean, you got to think about this way too, Scott, right? This is happening lately. People, the guy that did Robocop, he gets the the keys to the kingdom again. He he gets to do a new Robocop. He's like, well, all that stuff doesn't exist. They're like, what do you mean? He's like, well, according to my vision, Robocop 2, I had nothing to do with. I'm not doing Robocop 2, 3, 4, TV series. Yeah. That's erased from canon. This is real canon. And they're like, okay. Just like when they took over, they did Superman Returns. They're like, listen, yeah. we hated Superman 3 and Superman 4. This is a direct sequel to 2. This is our universe. This is our canon. Okay. They yeah. did that with Halloween H2O. Yeah. It wasn't connected to Halloween 4 or 5. Wiped. It was a direct sequel to 2. And nobody, and nobody really griped. Right. And they even just, now, Halloween, this is a erased 4, 5, 6, 
Uh -huh. H2O, resurrection. But it sort of uh, it sort of keeps it in there. Right. We do the fact he lived. So we're used to alternate universes in the movies too. Like yeah. our our Toby Maguire, my favorite Spider-Man movies. Then we have Andrew Garfield's different universe. Then we have the MCU, which they count, you know, Tom Holland as part of that universe. Now, uh -huh. with the Venom universe, that's probably not Tom Holland's universe. It's probably somebody else. Could be Miles Morales. Could be something else. But multiple universe things has been going on for a long time. Multiple universe theory, what if comics, you know. Yeah. It, it, I, I find it as a Spider-Man fan fascinating that that stuff is, exists. And... When you have money, what better way than to get that part of your collection? Like, just I would like to have that. I would yeah, like to have I mean, a whole room or a basement of Spider-Man stuff. Just wow, you know. So I got to tell you, I am not offended by it, and I'm not upset that we covered it. And I, you know, I had some people like I don't really want to call people out, but I'm not going to call some people out. It's okay, <laughs> David, Mr. B. Um, like he, he, he is a good guy. We talk on Facebook messenger and, you know, sometimes he gives me some scoops of stuff. That's cool. And, and, you know, some stuff, sometimes he's bothered by stuff. I guess this time he was bothered by it. You know, I, I don't want to use the wrong terminology. Like he was triggered or angry or whatever label. We just, I guess, you know, felt, he felt very passionate about the story we covered that we didn't, I guess, put our all into it. I'm sorry, I dropped some. We didn't put our all into it. Look. And I, I, I love it that we have some. you do, you look something, you happen upon something on the internet, you look up a few things that takes you to two, three spots. And well, you know what? If I could look at it in a different perspective, right? Maybe he expected better from us. Maybe because we have 1,806 everything shows that maybe he expected that we should have went more into detail about it than just... It was just a quick thing. There's no yeah. rules when it comes to the everything show. We're not, no. We don't have to spend 20 hours on, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm the host. This is my show. This is the way I want to do things. So, like, like I said, we covered the other stories that we expand upon later on in the week, you know? Yeah. This this everything show is just going to be strictly about Spider-Man we're talking about. And then now, because I don't want to, people, what I want to start doing is, like, if, if people get annoyed that if I'm going to come Star Wars in here, they have to wait to the end. We're going to do another cast for that. Um, it's not a big deal. Like We will cover news as it hits. If something goes like where we found, like the other day, we found out that the alien news was bull crap. Yeah. And we did a cast on it. It was bull crap. Did a you revision. Know? We did some, and Ryan Johnson left, you know, we mm -hmm. did retraction, you know. But we said it was a rumor anyway, though. Yeah. Which means it's not really we true to, yet. Yeah, like, we, we don't know. You know. In case we found out, oh, maybe. It right. was so, I mean, look, I'm sorry that your experience with the video left you with a bad taste in your mouth, but I'm not sorry <laughs> because we have a good time. And, and we had another video the other day. We did a horror cast, and I titled because you've got to title it something. Yeah. You know? We cover like probably ten different things in a kiss, but I got a I got can only write so much for the title, so I said my reaction, whatever. Even though we covered other things, my, and they're probably thinking my reaction. No, 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 no. The guy on his channel had every single ma reaction. Okay. On his, so he was a ma fan, which he didn't even have any other videos or likes because he just started. Maybe it was a troll. I don't know, but he's like, that's not a ma reaction. Um. Yeah, Dick, it is. <laughs> I don't mean to be a dick, but I am being a dick because what do you want us that to is do? a fucking yeah. reaction. Did you want us to do an air a... reaction for us watching? No, going... I don't have to be a fucking reaction like uh, somebody else. Like I like yeah. Tyro Magnus and everybody else, but this is my fucking reaction. It was like, you know, we, we didn't Holy spend shit. the whole fucking podcast on it. We spent a little bit. So, yeah, it is a fucking reaction. Um, you know, like, and then we even made a bigger reaction. What do you want us to do? What, look at her shoe size? And then, like, you know, oh, ladies, they spent a lot of money on this budget. 
No, man, it's fake. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to fake it for you. I did no. our reaction. That was it. You know? Look, we do podcasts. I do it to have fun. This doesn't pay the bills. This isn't a job. I don't need to go back and do real reactions if I don't want to, and I won't. Sometimes I'll do it for shits and giggles. Yeah. But this world, you cannot be too serious. You know? How about, like, be upset that, you know, there's global warming and there's this. And, they, like, you know, you're not going to get upset from a Spider-Man comic. You know? There's stuff that I don't agree with sometimes. But it happens. Can't do anything about it. Would I have had Luke Skywalker drink, like, alien breast milk? Probably not. No. Probably not. Would I have so him, like, take, lead so later and screw him? No. Basically what we're saying is take a cue from Elsa and let it go. Let right. it go. Kill the fuck out. It's not, it's not a warrant, like, ten messages or, like, you know, paragraphs on YouTube. You know? I mean, honestly, it doesn't. I don't think. So the fact that we're doing a whole fucking cast on it probably means that I'm triggered a little bit by it. <laughs> Whatever. I mean... But you know what? This is my style. We we co- sometimes we'll get a story and like Chris covers it, he researches the shit out of it and just like you know gets it prepared in a couple of days and then boom we yeah. talk about it. Very thorough. That's great. Sometimes I just oh five minutes we ago wing, this hit. The we'll word is we wing it. No, not that not that we're winging it, Scott. I know, sometimes I know. a story breaks five minutes. We're reading it as we're doing a story about it. Because maybe there's not enough news. Whatever. Not that we're winging it, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, that cop well, that cop just came out of nowhere. I don't know where. But well, whatever. I mean... All right. So we're going to get out of this everything show. Please don't be offended. Please like and subscribe. And yes, I welcome people commenting. I'm not going to bash you if you comment. Sometimes we don't agree, and then we're going to do a cast talking about how we don't agree. It's fine. It's fine. Don't take offense. Don't get angry. Don't get upset. You know, don't think I'm taking a piss on you. It's not. It's just I'm trying to show overall how things are not that serious in certain things. You know what I'm saying? I'm more, like, serious and worried about Spider-Man dressing like Wonder Woman lately. Yeah, yeah. With the shield and fighting in Asgard and all these things, like, that I'm kind of upset about. That I'm upset about compared to... In Mexico, he married Gwen Stacy. I mean, to me, yes. you know, I want to say, where's the, where's the last one? I would love to have those issues and I'd love to have read those. I mean, that, that would be but I would, I would say, like, where's the lasso? Because he's got the, the headgear of Wonder Woman. Yeah. He's got a shield. He's looking like Wonder Woman, except with the Spider-Man outfit on. Why are we doing this? See, I, I question certain things because I'm like, I don't understand this. Well, like, understand. Why are we doing this? Why is he like this? Why is Luke Cage? I mean, like certain things that might be cool, like Luke Cage having a the hammer, mm-hmm. Daredevil getting powers from this. That's weird. You know, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. But you know what? I'm upset about Spider Man looking like Wonder Woman. That's my thing lately. We'll talk about it, I guess, when the time comes. All right. So, hope you enjoyed this cast. There will be more. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>